Hi, Chem Team. Uh, near the end of class today, we touched on density and what makes an object dense. Uh, so dense objects have a high amount of mass compared to their volume. And so we've got a, a particle diagram of a dense object here. And in other words, uh, there's a lot of particles, a lot of mass, uh, crammed inside the volume, inside of the object space. So real-world examples of dense objects would be things like uh, baseballs, a block of concrete, or a brick, whereas uh, non-examples, not dense objects, uh, would be things without a lot of particles uh, in their spaces, so like a really fluffy pillow or a, a bag of cotton balls without a lot of, of mass in their volume would be not dense. Okay? These low-density objects have a low mass compared to their volume, or in other words, they have a relatively few number of particles inside of their space, inside of their volume. So examples of low density objects would be things like uh, balloons filled with air, uh, beach balls, or like the uh, foam pool noodles that kids will play with at pools. Uh, Non-examples of a low density object would be things that have, again, a lot of mass uh, crammed into their volume, uh, like uh, a bag of pennies, or a sack of rice, or a cannonball. Uh, and so another way of thinking about the density of matter is just how tightly packed it is, or how compact it is. So how do we measure whether something is more dense or, or more compact than something else? Take, for instance, a bowling ball and a beach ball. Okay, intuitively we might say that the, the bowling ball is more dense than the beach ball. Uh, but how do we prove that? How do we calculate the density of the bowling ball and the density of the beach ball? Let's say our bowling ball has uh, 3,000 grams of particle mass, and uh, those particles take up 1,000 milliliters of space, whereas the beach ball has 500 grams of mass, and uh, it takes up 1,000 milliliters of space. Uh, if we want to calculate the densities of these objects, the first thing we need to do is compare the mass of each object uh, to its volume uh, in the form of a ratio. So the density of the bowling ball we would express as 3,000 grams of particles taking up 1,000 milliliters of space. Uh, whereas the density of the beach ball we would express as 500 grams of particles taking up 1,000 milliliters of space. So if we want to be able to compare these two densities to see which one is higher, we need to do just like you would in your algebra class, uh, reduce these ratios to a common denominator. Uh, and this will usually be uh, one milliliter in our class. So 3,000 grams of particles in 1,000 milliliters of space will reduce to 3 grams uh, for every 1 milliliter of space. Likewise, the beach ball, uh, 500 grams of particles in 1,000 milliliters of space, will reduce to half a gram for every milliliter. Then the comparison between densities is straightforward. Uh, the bowling ball, with a density of 3 grams in each of its milliliters, has a higher density than the beach ball, which only has half a gram of particles in each milliliter. And that's it. Uh, at this point, you're going to have a couple of practice problems. Uh, complete those, and we'll see you in class tomorrow.